Does the Fritzbox IP address not fit within your home network? Well, in this video, I'll show you how and where you can go to change that. So why would you want to change the Fritzbox IP address? Well, it all comes down to your home network, what devices you've got connected, and what your previous router's IP address was. So what I mean by that is, some devices look for the IP address of your router. So things like CCTV cam, network switches, and sometimes Wi-Fi extenders. They will specifically look for the IP address of the router. And the most common IP address for routers tends to be 192.168.1.1. Now, there are other common IP addresses, as you can see here, but the Fritz box isn't one of them. The Fritz box's IP address is 192.168.178.1. So if you have devices on your network that are specifically looking for an IP address previously mentioned, it won't work. So there's one of two things we can do. The first of which is you can log into your other devices and change the IP address they're looking for to the Fritzbox one. This might be a case of having to log in, it might be a case of just a reboot or maybe even a reset. It all depends on the devices you're using. The other option you can do is to log into the Fritzbox and change the IP address in the Fritzbox to be the same as the one you've previously used. For example, you can change it from 178.1 to 1.1 if that's what worked on your previous network. And to do that, the first thing you need to do is go to a computer and open up your browser of choice. And from here, you'll go to 192.168.178.1. And this will take you to the Fritzbox login screen. Here, you'll need to enter the password that you can find on the underside of your router labeled Fritzbox password. And this will take you to the main page. On the left hand side, you'll need to go to Home Network and Network, and then you want to click on the second tab across labeled Network Settings. Then you'll need to scroll down to the section titled IP Addresses, and you want to click on the button that says IPv4 Settings on the right hand side. Here you can change your current router IP address to your more preferred one, whether that's 1.1 or 0.1, for example. When doing this, be sure to check that the DHCP and DNS server addresses automatically change to match the changes that you have just done, as if these don't change automatically, this could cause issues later down the line. Once you have done this, simply click OK. You'll then be greeted by this warning message, which is simply advising you that by changing the IP address, your devices that are currently attached or looking for your IP address in your network will disconnect and will need to be reconnected. Unless you have anything that has been specifically manually set up, this is where DHCP will come into play. So provided those settings of the server have changed in line with your new IP, you shouldn't need to worry about this. So you can simply scroll down and click OK. You'll then be greeted with the second confirmation window. Here you want to click no telephone and you'll need to physically click on one of the buttons on your router as this will act as a second point of confirmation. Once you have done this, you'll be greeted with this window, and all you need to do is press OK. The settings will now be applied to your Fritz box, and your gateway will now be changed to 192.168.1.1, or whatever alternative address you have used at this time. Once you have done this, click on the overview, and that's it. If you're greeted by this window, this is because the device you're using is still looking for your old IP address. You'll simply need to reboot the router by pulling out the power cable, waiting 10 seconds and plugging it back in. And then refresh your screen and you should be taken back to the Fritzbox login. If you want to confirm that these settings have been changed, simply repeat the steps that we've just done and you should be able to see that the IP address is now the one we've changed it to. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, do please click on that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, do please click on that subscribe button. But until next time, thank you very much.